Murarji Ranchadji Desai, the 29th of February 1896 to the 10th of April 1995, was an Indian independence activist and served between 1977 and 1979 as the fourth Prime Minister of India and led the government formed by the Janata Party. During his long career in politics, he held many important posts in government such as, Chief Minister of Bombay State, Home Minister, Finance Minister and Second Deputy Prime Minister of India. On the international scene, Desai holds international fame for his peace activism and created efforts to initiate peace between two rival South Asian states, Pakistan and India. After India's first nuclear test in 1974, Desai helped restore friendly relations with China and Pakistan, and vowed to avoid armed conflict such as Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. He was also accused of scaling down the Indian Covert Operations Agency, the RNAW. He is the oldest person to become Prime Minister, aged 81, in the history of Indian politics. Early life Topic Birth Murarji Desai was of Gujarati origin. He was born in Badeli village, Bolsar district, Bombay Presidency, now in Gujarat, on the 29th of February 1896, the oldest of eight children. His father was a school teacher. School education Desai underwent his primary schooling in Saurashtra the Kundla school, Savarkundla now called J.V. Modi school and later joined Bai Ava Bai High School, Valsad. After graduating from Wilson College, Mumbai, he joined the civil service in Gujarat. Desai resigned as deputy collector of Ghadra in May 1930 after being found guilty of going soft on Hindus during the riots of 1927-28 there. Topic: <inaudible> Freedom Fighter. Desai then joined the freedom struggle under Mahatma Gandhi and joined the civil disobedience movement against British rule in India. He spent many years in jail during the freedom struggle and owing to his sharp leadership skills and tough spirit, he became a favourite amongst freedom fighters and an important leader of the Indian National Congress in the Gujarat region. When provincial elections were held in 1934 and 1937, Desai was elected and served as the Revenue Minister and Home Minister of the Bombay Presidency. In government. Chief Minister of Bombay and Partition of Two State Before the independence of India, he became Bombay's Home Minister and later was elected as Chief Minister of Bombay State in 1952. The state was a bilingual state, home to Gujarati-speaking and Marathi-speaking people. Since 1956, activist organization Samyukta Maharashtra Samiti led a movement for a Marathi-only speaking state of Maharashtra. A staunch nationalist himself, Murarji Desai was opposed to such movements, including the Mahagujarat movement led by Indulal Yagnik demanding a new state of Gujarat. Desai proposed that the metropolitan Mumbai as coined by earlier Kohli inhabitants, be made into a union territory or a separate development region to suit its cosmopolitan nature, due to its long-settled citizens from diverse settings across various linguistic, cultural, and religious backgrounds spanning several generations. In opposition to his alleged Gandhian thoughts, Desai ordered police to fire on demonstrators of the Mumbai unit of Samyukta Maharashtra Samiti at Flora Fountain who had gathered there to demonstrate against government. The protesters were led by Senapati Bapat. Desai ordered firing which killed 105 protesters including an 11-year-old girl during the incident. This escalated the issue and is believed to have forced the federal government to agree to two separate states based on language. After the formation of the present state of Maharashtra, Bombay, now Mumbai became its state capital. Flora Fountain was renamed Hutatma Chowk, Martyrs Square, in Marathi, to honor the 105 people killed in the firing. Later Desai moved to Delhi when he was inducted as Home Minister in the cabinet of Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. <laughs> Topic. 
Home Minister As Home Minister, Desai outlawed any portrayals of indecency which included kissing scenes in films and theatrical productions. Being a staunch Gandhian, Desai was socially conservative, pro-business, and in favor of free enterprise reforms, as opposed to Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's socialistic policies. Rising in Congress leadership, as a fierce nationalist with anti-corruption leanings, Desai was at odds with Prime Minister Nehru and his allies, and with Nehru's age and health failing, he was considered as a possible contender for the position of Prime Minister. Outflanked in the leadership contest after Nehru's death in 1964 by the Nehruvian Lal Bahadur Shastri, Desai remained content to build support within the ranks. In early 1966, the unexpected passing away of Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri after only 18 months in power made Murarji Desai once again a contender for the top position. However, he was defeated by Nehru's daughter, Indira Gandhi, in the Congress party leadership election by a big margin. Desai served as Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister of India in the Indira Gandhi government until 1969 when Prime Minister Gandhi took the finance portfolio from him. At the same time, she also nationalised the 14 largest banks in India. These acts compelled Murarji Desai to resign from the Gandhi cabinet. In the subsequent split of the Congress party, Murarji joined the Indian National Congress organization faction of the party, whereas Gandhi formed a new faction called Indian National Congress ruling. Alternatively, the two factions of Desai and Indira were called Syndicate and Indicate respectively. The 1971 general elections to the Indian Parliament were won by Indira Gandhi's faction in a landslide. Murarji Desai, however, was elected as a member of the Lok Sabha or Lower House of Parliament. Murarji Desai went on indefinite hunger strike on the 12th of March 1975 to support Nav Nerman movement of Gujarat. In 1975, Indira Gandhi was convicted of electoral fraud by the Allahabad High Court after opponents alleged she had used government civil servants and equipment during the campaign for the 1971 general elections. During the subsequent emergency rule in 1975-77, in a massive crackdown, Desai and other opposition leaders were jailed by the Indira Gandhi government. Emergency wave The popular anti-corruption movement led by Jayaprakash Narayan and the anti-emergency wave in 1977 led to the complete routing of the Congress party in northern India, and a landslide victory for the opposition Janata Alliance in the national elections held in March 1977. Murarji Desai was selected by the Janata Alliance, later Janata Party as their parliamentary leader, and thus became the first non-Congress Prime Minister of India. Prime Minister of India 1977 First term as a Prime Minister During the 1977 emergency, which began on Wednesday, June 25, 1975, and ended on Monday, March 21, 1977, 1977 general elections were held during March 16, 1977, March 20, 1977. Janata Party registered a landslide victory in the election, and Murarji Desai became the Prime Minister. Most of the people were opposed to the forced sterilization and felt unheard due to which even during the emergency, the biggest democracy in the world was able to come together to try and put an end to such oppression against the people by the central government. Indira Gandhi as well as the Congress party in particular, as felt by the majority population in rural and inner cities where the forced sterilizations were taking place en masse. Hence Indira Gandhi lost. Desai worked to improve relations with neighbor Pakistan and restored normal relations with China, for the first time since the 1962 war. He communicated with Zia-ul-Haq and established friendly relations. Diplomatic relations were also re-established with China. His government undid many amendments made to the constitution during emergency and made it difficult for any future government to impose a national emergency. However, the Janata Party coalition, was full of personal and policy friction and thus failed to achieve much owing to continuous in wrangling and much controversy. With no party in leadership of the coalition, rival groups vied to unseat Desai. 
Controversial trials of prominent Congress leaders, including Indira Gandhi over emergency era abuses worsened the fortunes of his administration. Topic first nuclear test Since India's first nuclear test in 1974, Desai kept India's nuclear reactors stating they will never be used for atomic bombs, and I will see to it if I can help it. In 1977, the Carter administration offered to sell heavy water and uranium to India for its nuclear reactors but required American on-site inspection of nuclear materials. Desai declined, seeing the American stance as contradictory, in light of its own nuclear arsenal. Domestically, he played a crucial role in the Indian nuclear program after it was targeted by major nuclear powers after conducting a surprise test in 1974. Murarji Desai closed down much of India's premier intelligence agency research and analysis wing reducing its budget and operations. Desai remains the only Indian national to be conferred with Pakistan's highest civilian award, Nishan-e-Pakistan, which was conferred on him by President Ghulam Ishaq Khan in 1990 in a colourful ceremony. Later, his policies promoted social, health and administrative reforms in the country. He also revealed that the RNAW is well aware of Pakistan's nuclear activity in Kahuta to the Pakistani general Muhammad Zia-ul-Haq in a telephonic conversation. Topic decimation of RNAW Murarji Desai had described the Research and Analysis Wing RNAW, India's external intelligence agency, as the Praetorian Guard of Indira Gandhi and had promised to stop all activities of the RNAW after becoming Prime Minister. He closed down much of the agency, and reduced its budget and operations, such as closing its information division. B. Rahman, the former head of the counter-terrorism division of RNAW and noted security analyst, reveals that, in an informal discussion, Murarji Desai indiscreetly told Pakistan's chief martial law administrator General Zia-ul-Haq that his government was well aware of Pakistan's nuclear development. Retirement <inaudible> 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 In 1979, Raj Narain and Sharan Singh pulled out of the Janata Party, forcing Desai to resign from office and retire from politics. The chief reason for the collapse was the demand by the duo and other left-leaning members like Madhu LeMay, Krishan Kant and George Fernandez that no member of the Janata Party could simultaneously be a member of an alternative social or political organization. This attack on dual membership was directed specifically at members of the Janata Party who had been members of the Jan Sang, and continued to be members of Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sang, the Jan Sang's ideological parent. <laughs> Death Murarji Desai campaigned for the Janata Party in 1980 general election as a senior politician but did not contest the election himself. In retirement, he lived in Mumbai and died on 10 April 1995 at the age of 99. From 13 December 1994, when former French Prime Minister Antoine Panet died until his own death, Desai was the world's oldest living former head of government. He was much honoured in his last years as a freedom fighter of his generation. Murarji Desai was a strict follower of Mahatma Gandhi's principles and a moralist. He was a vegetarian, both by birth and by conviction. Social service Murarji Desai was a Gandhian follower, social worker, institution builder and a great reformer. He was the Chancellor of Gujarat Vidyapith. Even during his term as the Prime Minister he used to visit and stay at Vidyapith during the month of October. He lived simply and used to write postcards himself even when he held the office of Prime Minister. Sardar Patel deputed him to conduct meetings of farmers in Kara district which finally led to the establishment of the Amul Cooperative Movement. During his rule, he withdrew intervention in public distribution system and rationing shops were literally lost due to cheap sugar and oil available in the market. <laughs> Personal life and family Murarji Desai married Gujrabin in 1911, at the age of 15. Gujrabin lived to see her husband becoming Prime Minister, but she predeceased him. He is survived by his son Kanti Desai, and grandsons Jagdeep and Bharat Desai. 
Madakeshwar Desai, one of his great grandsons, son of Jagdeep Desai, took it upon himself to revive the legacy of his illustrious great grandfather. Madakeshwar Desai is currently the national vice president of the Bharatiya Janata Yuva Morcha, the youth wing of the BJP. Vishal Desai, son of Bharat Desai, is a writer and filmmaker. Advocate of urine therapy In 1978, Desai, a longtime practitioner of urine therapy, spoke to Dan Rather on 60 Minutes about the benefits of drinking urine. Desai stated that urine therapy was the perfect medical solution for the millions of Indians who cannot afford medical treatment. He also attributed his longevity to drinking urine, which he called the water of life. 